Welcome to my chaos. I'm recording this film before I go on my wedding and honeymoon. So you can see if there's a little, I left the little corner in the frame. Um, these are all the 150 Hoya hearts that I have for my wedding that are set up under insane grow lights. Um, more videos on that to come later in November. I'm having a whole planty wedding series. But anyway, today is about giftable planty products. We're starting with planty accessories. Show. So first up, and I know that this is insane that like this is the first product that I'm going to talk about, <laughs> but I think it's like a little higher on the price point for what it is. So I think it's super giftable because it's kind of elevated and luxury, but it is also so functional. And I know that it is so stupid for me to be talking and waxing poetic about a watering can plant friends, but like I'm obsessed with this watering can. This is the Modern Sprout 3 liter watering can. It is amazing. Um, they thought about a lot of different like issues that plant parents have and solved them. So you have like the sexy skinny spout and this has three liters of water in it. So since I have a large plant collection, like my other watering can, I used to have to refill like every three plants that I watered. And now like I can fill this guy up fill it with my liquid fertilizer and get going with my plants and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Speaking of liquid fertilizer, another great option is the Espoma um, indoor liquid fertilizer. I like pour these doses in. This together would be a really cute package for a plant friend. But anyway, it's brushed bronze. I think it comes in a couple of different colors on the website. It's a great size and it's really slender on the back. So we, this can actually sit on a windowsill. But because it's so sleek looking, I think it looks really beautiful like in my plant collection. Like sometimes I put it on my bookshelf as like part of the styling of my bookshelf. So this is a great gift for the plant parent who has everything, if you know what I mean. Another great gift for the plant parent that has everything is hygrometers or hygrometers. I have to say, I have these all over my house and I use both of the products that I recommended in like the comparison video. Um, but they're really fun. I feel like I've learned a lot about my plant collection and my home environment through hygrometers. Before I used them, I didn't realize how dry the air in my last home was and my plants were really unhappy there. And I was able to kind of troubleshoot through understanding that my humidity in my home was 28%. Um, and that's not healthy even for humans, let alone plants. So hygrometers, I think they're super affordable. We have the links below to the Amazon ones that I use. Um, and they're a really fun way to just like up level your plant parenthood uh, experience. And I think they're just like a really fun gift because they're really small. Okay. So the next gift that I want to recommend was actually gifted to me. My plant friend Leslie Halleck sent me these um, for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. You might have seen the unboxing on my Instagram. The most epic plant steaks you've ever seen. So these are from a company called Botanopia or Botanopia. Um, I'm not going to pronounce anything right in this episode of Maria's Favorite Things. So when you think about plant steaks, and I have like this plant steak, which is a rose gold plant steak. It's adorable. It's made by an Etsy wire artist. I'll link to it. Um, most of the plant steaks that I know are small like this. The thing that I'm obsessed with with these plant steaks is the sheer scale of them. Like, look at this. This is huge. This is bigger than my head. So when you have large plants, these are such a great product. And look at the fun. So I think I'm going to trail Rafi around this guy. But like, look at that. Imagine trailing a pothos on that. Look at that. Look at this zigzag. I mean, these are such fun sizes and I just think they're a really innovative, super sturdy thing. If you don't love the moss pole vibe, try a really big plant steak. I could totally see myself putting these in my larger pots of Monstera. Or if you have like an epic long trailing pothos that you want to train up, these are great. Botanopia. Okay, I'm so excited to talk about this next product. So Wally Grow, which is my one of my favorite companies, I've done several videos on their eco wall planters. We're gonna talk about a new planter that they launched in a minute, but I'm so proud of them and impressed by them. They've launched a home line. So they partnered with this amazing artist that goes by the name of Living Pattern. She makes the most gorgeous, high end like stylized botanical prints. It's not like little cartoons of succulents. It's like really beautiful botanical prints. 
and Wally Grow partnered with her to make the masks that if you've followed me on Instagram, like the only masks that I wear are the Wally Grow masks. And now they launched a home collection line with some really cool products that I want to show you. So the packaging is really simple and cute. Um, you can definitely get a bunch of them, but they have two home products I wanted to show you. A placemat and a dish towel. So if you want to like elevate your kitchen, or if you want to gift, like what a great hostess gift, what a great um, housewarming gift, um, elevate your kitchen. Maybe you have a dark kitchen, you can't put plants. Why don't you freaking put placemats on your tables? By the time this episode airs, I'm going to be a wife. <laughs> I'm getting married this weekend, but at the time that I'm taping this, I can't wait to do, to make Billy some fancy dinners and actually use placemats. We've never had placemats before. That's like super grown up, but they have placemats with all these really cute patterns. This is their dish towel. Imagine having your planty collection of dish towels hanging on your oven. How freaking cute is this? They also have this really delicate pattern, fern. Um, so you could like get your whole table worth of one print or you can do what I did, which is mix and match all of the different prints. Um, this quality is so nice. I know that it's machine washable. They did such a good job. It's also super light. Um, I freaking love it. Could be a really fun hostess gift or housewarming gift if you're one of the many people who have moved recently. Also a really fun addition to like any kind of gift, like a cute stocking stuffer is these are the modern sprout pruning shears. I have always, I talk, I mean, I've talked about these forever. They're so cute and they've got this little thing that you put your hand on. I love them. They're so sleek. They have that little snap, super functional. Next up, gift sets slash stocking stuffers slash teacher gifts slash like fun, cute little gifts. And I feel like these are cute to like throw in the stocking or like, you know, gift your plant friend if you're just like seeing them. Um, you could like buy kind of a bunch of these and like have them in stock in your plant corner for like whenever you see someone and you wanna just give them a little gift. Or I feel like these are also kind of fun ideas for people who aren't necessarily planty, but like just appreciate a cute gift. So first off, honestly guys, I'm gonna be real with you, most of this portion is Modern Sprout because they've been a long-term partner of the show, but the thing I love about Modern Sprout is they make really beautifully packaged planty items. So everything they have is super giftable. And the cool thing is they've launched their new line of gift bundles. Packaging is plastic free and the packaging is so freaking cute. <laughs> so if I was to gift one of these packages, like I wouldn't even wrap it. I would like slap a bow on top and call it a day, um, which is obviously more eco-friendly. And I know that's really important to Modern Sprout, but they launched these three different gift bundles. And I feel like the plant Plant Parent set is so adorable. It comes with this really nice black plant tweezers, those nice long sexy plant tweezers, a really beautiful soil scoop, which is a product that I've kind of been kind of curious about, a plant dusting brush. So it's perfect for an existing plant parent or it's kind of like a plant parent starter kit. Um, they also have the growing gourmet. So if you have like an aspiring cook or an aspiring person who wants to grow their own food. That one has basil pruning shears, the shears that I just showed you, a tea towel with herb with herb tips um, and their herb pull and pinch dish. And then they have a package called the garden party, which is funny because I have a garden party, um, but it's mixology tools. So it comes with a grow your own rosemary kit, a citrus reamer, a glass infusion, bo a glass infusion bottle and more. So check those out. Another product Modern Sprout makes, so they have like a new up-level version. Their old version is called the Glow and Grow Candles. I love these candles. If you're a candle person, I burned, the, I burned through two of them. And the idea is they're a scented candle that has a planty scent. You burn through it and then that candle is a new vessel for seeds that come with the set. So they've up-leveled and created the Rooted Candle. It comes in this really beautiful packaging. I love that the packaging has holes on top so you can still smell the candle, which is so cute. And then it comes with these really sleek matte terracotta looking planters, which are filled with a candle. You burn through it and then it has seeds. So this one is the rosemary candle. It smells delightful. And then it comes with rosemary seeds. So after I burn this, I can technically make this a little seed starter for myself. Um, realistically, I won't put rosemary seeds in this and I'll probably just put like a three inch plant in it. I'm obsessed it's so cute it's also like really heavy nice quality um this is another thing you could like buy a couple of them and just like keep them 
in your pantry for when you have to give to people. Okay, another perfect little gift are the seed ball packages that they have. Um, it's super cute packaging and they have three different versions, Grow Peace, Grow Love, and Grow Comfort. And they're different types of seed balls depending on their name. But the packaging is so cute. This is a perfect little gift. So cute, kind of sparkly, shiny packaging, um, different kind of curated blends of different seeds. Um, and you can give them to someone and they'll scatter their seed balls in the spring, come spring and think of you when those flowers grow, you know? This is another um, spruce growing kit that's actually designed to be a little tree ornament but there's spruce seeds and a little cocoa quart thing in here so you actually start your seed in this after the holiday season, which is so freaking cute. One other little product that I think would be super cute for a stocking stuffer for like a plant person or just like a little gift is the Hemlava pins. Um, I've talked about Hemlava before on the podcast. Samantha runs the company. She's on the West Coast. She's amazing female entrepreneur. So Samantha was kind of one of the OG plant pin designers. She has such a cute array of enamel plant pins. They're all over my backpack. I have a huge collection of plant pins from a lot of different makers. Um, and she, in the last couple of years, has done a lot of really fun collaborations with other makers and artists. And she's expanded her product line. And all of her stuff is like really appropriately priced. Um, price mostly everything is under $50 so if you're looking for a cute little individual gifts for people who already like plants her plant pins are super cute would recommend okay next on the category list is planters I just have three that I want to show you guys that I've really liked so shout out I I talk I talk about her every Maria's favorite things I love Michiko Shimada she is a terracotta artist um, I will link to her Etsy page below I these were like some of the first like nice pots that I ever bought. So I decided to make all of my planters terracotta or the most of them, the majority of them terracotta for a variety of reasons. I like the way they look. I like the way terracotta ages and it's cheap <laughs> when you have a lot of houseplants. Um, it's just an easy way to keep everything cohesive. And I have pops of white throughout my, my collection as well. Michiko Shimada, look at how sexy this pot is. She makes like the cutest little saucers and that just looks so beautiful. Um, the planters that she has are really interesting and structural. Um, she has this really cute set of three of like smaller pots that I really like and then I bought three of those larger pots and I had those sitting on my windowsill because this is so much thinner. It fit on my windowsill and then just kind of like was larger. Um, so Michiko Shimada, keep doing what you're doing. Love you. The other one that I wanted to talk about, so Wally Grow, who I just talked about the makers of the um, dish towels. Okay, so the reason why I knew Wally Grow is I installed many moons ago a green wall in my old apartment. We've got a bunch of videos, we'll link them here, um, with their eco planters. So they're eco planters, you install them on the wall, they have this fancy watering reservoir that you water and you can have the green wall of your dreams very simply, um, renter friendly. So they recently launched their loop planter. This is the loop planter. It's basically a cash po, but this planter, the inner planter has holes all over it, aeration holes. So it keeps the roots aerated and healthy. Um, and this is their answer to a hanging planter. So this hangs on the wall. It's very easy installation. We'll put up a photo of it because I actually don't use these as hanging planters. I, these are like my new planters with a flat bottom. Um, so they come in a variety of colors if you're looking for planters and they're made from recycled plastic, uh, ocean bound plastic. So uh, they're a very eco-friendly company and these planters are just like so sleek and modern. And last but not least, it's not a planter, but like I, I've got to talk about it. <laughs> and I already talked about Modern Sprout makes the rooted candles. So they have two candle options, the rooted candles like this, and then they have the glow and grow. The glow and grow. This is my golden oldie favorite product of theirs. Okay, this is the spruce kit. It smells so good. If you love a spruce like uh, tree candle like in the winter, holy shit, this is my new favorite smell. I really used to like the Herb Garden basil one. That was my favorite, but now this is. Um, and it comes with the growing media and the seeds in the bottom. So like this is a great little package gift. And I'm gonna open this now and not gift it and burn it in my house because it smells amazing. 
Okay, that was a quickie. Here's another quickie. New parent, real human parent gift. So not a plant parent, real human parent, parent gift. Wally Grow has burp cloths in their home line. How cute is this? I'm gonna show you this packaging without B-roll because I'm gonna gift this to my friend um, who just had a baby. But look, it comes with two burp cloths. Look at this burp cloth. It's so cute and delicate. And you can buy a matching swaddle for your baby. So cute. Okay, let's talk about grow lights. I feel like for most people, grow lights are a great gift option if you're a plant parent and you want like a luxe item that you're not necessarily gonna buy for yourself. So the grow lights that I'm recommending today, they're not like the Amazon grow lights. These are the nicer, higher quality, fancier grow lights that you might wanna request for yourself or that you might wanna gift the intense plant parent um, or the beginner plant parent who just bought a lot of plants in your life. Um, it's grow light time because it's the gifting season, but also it's in the Northern Hemisphere winter and we're going into less light availability. A lot of people buy grow lights at this time. So when it comes to like fancy, beautiful grow lights, I always recommend two companies, Modern Sprout, who I've already talked about a lot. They do have a coupon code in the show notes below. You should check them out. And then uh, Soltec Solutions. And I feel like both companies make lights really well for different purposes. Um, I talk kind of in detail about all of the different products both of the companies offer and why I think you should buy them on the podcast. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple of my choices. So first off, you've probably seen my grow shelf renovations. I've done grow shelves in like two or three different homes now. That happens with the Modern Sprout Grow Bar. So we'll link to those videos, but this is like a flush grow bar that you literally like lick and stick to a bookshelf or under a cabinet or whatever. The cool thing with the Modern Sprout Grow Lights is all the grow lights that they sell on their website are smart app enabled. You can make tailor-made lighting schedules for all of your different lights and control them from your app, which I think is really cool. The other product of theirs that I love and think is so giftable is their Grow House. Oh my gosh, their Grow House is so beautiful. It's that brush bra brushed brass. It actually matches the watering can that I showed you. And um, it sits, you can mount it on the wall, but I've sat it on several of my desks and it has its timer. It's super easy to use and it looks really beautiful. It makes your plants kind of tumbling out of it look like living art. Okay, so this is the other product of Modern Sprouts that I wanted to show you guys. I've never talked about it on the podcast or the YouTube channel because I think they launched it in 2020 in the pandemic. Um, but this is their Uplift Planter. So it's a floor plant stand. I have this little loop in it. It's a really, so it's a plant stand that has an adjustable grow light built on top of it that's smart app enabled. Once all of the boxes behind me are moved <laughs> after our wedding and the Hoy hearts are gone, I'm gonna install this. We have a really, in the wall behind us, we have this white wall with a very black fireplace and I think this will look really beautiful right next to the fireplace, but I'm sorry, plant friends, I have too much wedding stuff stacked up in the back to show that to you right now. <laughs> okay, I've waxed poetic about Soltex, Soltex Solutions and their aspect hanging pendant light forever. <laughs> I have three of them in my house. If you're looking for like a pendant style, super sleek light that's gonna hang from your ceiling, the aspect is your answer. It's Soltec's answer to a luxury grow light. Um, it seems, it blends in seamlessly with your home. Uh, it's super beautiful. They have two different wattages available. I use the 40 watt ones and I absolutely love them. Another product of Soltec Solutions that they launched this year that I wanted to tell you about is their Vita Grow Bulb. So you see a lot of like cheaper bulbs on Amazon, live your truth, get whatever you want, but this is their answer. They're a luxury grow light company and this is their answer to a grow bulb that literally screws into any light fixture you have in your house. Okay, books. I have an extended YouTube video from the end of 2020 with my book recommendations. Um, there, I've read a couple of books since then that I wanted to recommend that I think are super giftable for the holidays. Kind of one of every category that I wanted to show you just for number one, lessons from plants. You might've heard my interview with the author of this book, Baronda Montgomery, that aired earlier this month. This is an amazing book. <laughs> she is a botanist and has a horticulture background, but this book is lessons from plants. So it's the lessons that we learn from plants, but through the lens of a botanist of horticulture. So I have been waxing poetic about the life lessons I've learned from my garden forever, but I don't understand the scientific reason for why 
plants go dormant or why um, the seasons change, you know? And Baranda actually explains it. The book is also like super cute and giftable um, and would make a great gift for the plant parent in your life. That's number one. Two, okay, I already talked about this book, but if you're looking for a fiction book, if you have a fiction plant lover in your life, look no further than the overstory. It's I hate fiction and I, I'm obsessed with this book. I couldn't put it down literally reading with my iPhone flashlight like away from Billy under the covers when he was sleeping because I couldn't put it down. It's rich, it's beautifully written. Um, the character development is, in crazy, is, is crazy beautiful and the way that he, Richard Powers writes about trees. The Book of Delights by Ross Gay. Any book of poetry by Ross Gay. I fell in love with him as a poet last year. I got into a habit of reading a poem of his every day and I have this silly saying that says, a poem a day by Ross Gay keeps the blues away. He's a gardener and a poet and he writes so beautifully about gardening um, and plants and life. And I just think this is a great book and I've gifted this to several friends. So I figured I should tell you about it. And last but not least, if, you're, if you have a nerdy plant parent in your life, or if you have someone who has a nice collection of plants, um, Plant Parenting by my plant friend Leslie Halleck is a great selection because it's all about propagating plants. So it's a fun deep dive in plant propagation if you, you know, have someone in their life that maybe doesn't want to keep buying plants but wants to keep growing their plant collection. Plant Parenting is a great read and has like really pretty awesome tutorials on all sorts of propagation methods. Whenever I want to go try a different propagation method, I always refer to this book. And last but not least, we're going to play some B-roll of this book because I ordered it but it didn't arrive in time for me to film this video and have it. Um, but Cola, my dear planty podcaster friend from the podcast Black in the Garden, launched her coloring book this year. It's called Black in the Garden and it is the first coloring book about the black experience gardening. It's beautifully done. It's all sorts of illustrations of the different um, guests that have been on Cola's podcast and she's just killing it lately these days. And um, I think it's super creative and awesome and it's linked below. Okay, one last category, plant friends. Plants! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to tell you about this nursery that I've connected with this year. Um, they're called Little Prince of Oregon. They're based out of Oregon. They've been a grower for 20 years. So they're growers. They're not like people who just like buy and then sell. They're not resellers. They grow their own plants. And they have just kind of been like low key positioning themselves to be a huge houseplant provider of like rarer and harder to come by houseplants. Because they're a grower and they have these established relationships, they've been able to get their hands on a lot of hard to come by plants and they've been propagating and growing them in their nursery. So they have a houseplant line called Beau Chateau. They are the ones that worked with me on my wedding for my Hoya hearts. And when they sent the Hoya hearts, they sent me a bunch of samples of their Beau Chateau line. You might've seen my unboxing on my Instagram, but I'm so impressed with how these plants arrived. Um, most of their packaging is biodegradable. Obviously the plastic pots aren't, but um, it came with this biodegradable stuffing and, um, and I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of these plants. What I'm holding is Raffidophora de Corsiva. Oh my God, this mature plant looks so interesting. I'm so excited. And Raffi sitting behind me is gonna have a little brother. So this is Raffi's little brother, Raffidophora de, de Corsiva. I don't know what we're gonna name him. Maybe Doug, I don't know. Raffi, this is your little brother. Another really interesting plant that they sent me was Alocasia lauderbachiana. I have never seen this guy before. I freaked out a little bit when I opened it because I was like, okay, I've had some bad moments with Alocasia in the last year. So I'm gonna put this guy under, under glass and say a prayer. Um, they also shipped me Alocasia, no, not Alocasia, um, Calathea vitata, the peacock plant. These stripes are so freaking beautiful but these plants are just in such good condition. Oh, this was a really interesting peperomia. I had never seen peperomia verticillata. Um, this is like a freaking bush of peperomia. I can't stand it. And then another interesting plant, talk about little brothers, I have an Alocasia poly. This is Alocasia bambino, which is like a dwarf variety of the Alocasia poly, and it's so freaking adorable. The last plant I want to show you is in my special terrarium. This is a Beauty and the Beast moment where I take it off like that. I have to plant this guy up. They freaking have Stefania erecta 
And this is like not so expensive on their website. Um, I love that they ship it in like a little <laughs> fruit holder. Um, look at his little pajama butt. He's so freaking cute. I'm so obsessed with you. You're so cute, little Stefani Erecta. I can't wait for him to keep growing. So that is my product roundup for you, plant friends. I have to end this by saying we are launching the Garden Society next week. And if you maybe aren't looking to buy products and looking to, you know, reduce your waste or not ship things and you just want to buy something instant virtually, buy yourself or your friend a subscription annual to the Garden Society. Uh, we're launching in a week. We're going to have an insane deal on annual subscriptions and monthly subscriptions. It's going to be this amazing community where you're getting exclusive horticulturist led plant care seminars on really interesting topics that we've put together with our horticulturist in residence, Leslie Halleck, monthly growing joy calls where we are gonna hop on Zoom and talk about the plant parent connection and how we can grow alongside our plants, all sorts of other really fun things. You'll also get access to the garden party so you can figure out who around you is regional, make new plant friends, call, um, and make new plant friends. It's gonna be really cool. We're launching soon, so we ask if you're interested, get on the wait list. It's linked below. It's gonna be real fun, and there are gonna be serious discounts for founding members. So I hope that this was helpful to you. <laughs> I hope this inspired you and gave you some ideas for fun gifts if you are shopping online this year. So until next time, my sweet plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing.